Cut to the park here. Whoa, that's a big bee. Whoa, okay. Thank you, Mr. Bee, for not stinging me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. The like blogger here. Topic of the day. Topic of the day, the cool down. On my way to work today, this beautiful day. It's um, maybe about going on 80 Fahrenheit. A lot of traffic on the road, so we'll take trail way into the other lane. Let's get over here. There's nobody around, that's okay. It's all good, it's all good. The bike blogger show. So yeah, the cool down. What is the cool down? Well, of course, always drink your water. Woo! Stay hydrated. It'll help regulate the heat in your body a little better. You may still sweat just as much, but today we're gonna talk about the cool down. I don't think people talk about it enough. They often talk about the warm up, which is, you know, you kind of easing your way into a, a bike commute or an exercise routine or something. But the cool down is quite important. And you're gonna need to give yourself maybe 10 minutes. So, you're gonna probably need to give yourself 10 minutes from your destination to start slowing down, start cooling down. Because depending on your body, everyone's different, but it may take you 10 minutes or more to stop sweating. So if you don't like the sweating, let's get out here. Here we go. Here we go. All right, going this way. Woo. I wanna go through the city a little bit before we get to work today. Oh my gosh, there's nobody around. This is like perfect timing. Yes, nobody around. Now I'm gonna have like a line of cars behind me. That's okay, because we're the bicyclist and we're in the park. Oh my gosh, where's that guy going? Okay, very cool. Pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool, thanks for waiting for me. A lot of people don't usually realize how fast I'm going, so they'll sometimes jump out in front of me. I don't have my speedometer on me, but I'm probably going about 20 uh, miles per hour right now. Climbing the hill. All right, knock that little hill out, that's done. But we're talking about cool down, we're talking about cool down. Let's be going slow. Slow it down. Slow it down a little bit. Slow it down a little bit. So what with this uncertain time we live in, with all these, all this disease, you know, floating around in the air, you know, pollen and other diseases, <laughs> um, it's very important you do that cool down because if you're, I guess it depends on how hard you're working too. If you're doing a really good workout, you're pushing 80% or so of your max threshold, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know how, it depends on how you want to measure that. But you know, you feel like you're going, you know, four fifths of the way there. You know, you're like almost hitting your peak. Then uh, you're gonna be very tired, worn out, exhausted. Your immune system will be slightly compromised. So therefore, if you're all of a sudden going straight from the bike into a crowded workspace, you don't want to get near anybody. Uh, <laughs> because, well, you don't know if they're sick or not, or they could be asymptomatic of whatever it is they're carrying, but your chance of collecting that and not being able to fight it off and getting yourself real sick is, uh, it's not a good idea, basically. So you want to let, give, your, give your system a little bit of time to recover. So is there a guy behind me? Yeah, there's a guy behind me. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to actually stop here. And we'll let the car go. The car go? Okay, he made a left. So <laughs> I was just coming up on a construction site and I just realized he was behind me. That's why I'm scared a little bit. I'm a little bit scared. Bike blocker's a little scared about the... Uh, Electrical, electrical, you don't, hear, you don't hear that word, electrical cars. 
the electric vehicles because they're so quiet. But then again, I guess those hybrid cars are pretty quiet too, aren't they? I would know. I have a, well, actually, I have a somewhat newer vehicle, but it's gasoline powered. So, you know, it's still as, pretty much as loud as, okay, ugh. like the combustion system is pretty much, who is honking? Honking at who? Honking at what? What was that about? Thought maybe they were honking at a friend. I thought that guy just passed me on the left going the other direction. He honked his horn, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I got a lot of wind in my ears right now. Oh, that's a whole nother topic. Is it okay to wear headphones while you're riding your bike? Well, depending on where you live, uh, well, distracted driving is often regulated, but being able to hear anything may not even be a requirement to be able to drive a motor vehicle on the road. It's just, you gotta be able to see. Of course, losing one of your senses. In fact, I think in some places, actually most places, you're probably allowed to, uh, as long as you have good vision, <laughs> you're allowed to drive a car with like one eye. Even though I think that would mess up your depth perception, but you know. There's a lot of people who have eye injuries out there that wear an eye patch or something. <laughs> Road pirates. That I guess, uh, I guess that's okay. As long as you have one good eye. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry about that. I think the, uh, I think the pedestrians were getting ready to go there and I jumped the gun a little bit. Woo, all right, so we're in the city now. Uh, there's a car behind me and he's gonna pass me whether he wants to. There he goes. Way into the wrong side of traffic. It's kind of funny though because <laughs> that cyclist I just passed who was on my right, he was going the wrong direction on this side of the road. So, Oh, the city can be kind of crazy. Oh, let's get behind Mr. Douchebag here, the pickup truck. Actually, I shouldn't call him that. Mr. Woo! Smelly bus. Actually, you know, I'm gonna go this way. Actually, I was gonna say Mr. Uh, Mr. Ford, the pickup truck is actually a nice guy. So I take that back, I apologize. He gave me plenty of space when he passed me in the wrong lane of traffic. <laughs> but hey, you know, as long as he gave me space, I don't really care. Not my problem. Although this is, this is my problem straight ahead. Oh God, I get in the other lane. I'm getting in the other lane, here we go. Because the lane is going away. Actually, oh, is he going left or he wants to make a left here? I want to make a left. Uh, I'm going to go up this road here. So I need to actually start getting the work here today on this beautiful, beautiful day. Bike commute to work today. The cool down. The cool down. So, how do you cool down? Well, throughout your bike commute, stay well hydrated. That's gonna take you a long way. So, uh, I think this might be a dead end. Take a drip, drip of water here. Let's see, maybe we can, I don't know if we can cut through here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see, where does this go? Oh no. Oh no, I think it's a dead end. I can't quite tell though. Oh man, look at that. I can cut through. <laughs> Shortcut. Oh, bonus points, bonus points, bonus points. How did I find that? That's awesome. A little shortcut there. I'll have to keep that in mind. All right, we're actually circling back to where we were before, but that's okay. Doop, doop, doop. Guess we go straight. Doop -a -doo. Doop -a -doo. Slower down. Where does this go to the right? I think that's a parking garage straight ahead. Hey, you can see there's a parking garage down there. Let's, <laughs> let's not go that way. We can cut through the parking lot, it looks like this way. All the cars are angled away from me, like, you know, pointed uh, forward in a way, which means I'm going down a one-way section of parking lot here. So we're going the correct direction. That's always a good 
Good thing, good thing. Um, so yeah, drink water. Now, okay, we just made a total, <laughs> a total 360, but hey, you know, just extending our bike commute a little bit. Um, drink water. Uh, you know, keep your, keep your, I mean, I'm getting off topic here, but you know, it's getting sunny out. I'm not wearing any uh, arm coverings. Good time to start wearing that uh, sunscreen. So just throwing that out there as a bonus tip. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it is so windy. I hope you can hear me because I can barely hear my myself, which is why I often shout in my videos. <laughs> it's probably good because then you can make I can make sure you can hear me. All right, I'm watching an SUV behind me because I'm making a U-turn here. Okay, the white SUV is going uh, to the left there. Okay, okay. Eh, let's wait for the sedan. Do, 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 do. Let's jump onto the trail. I'm looking all over my shoulders. Make sure I check all my blind spots. <laughs> I say blind spots, but actually you don't really have any blind spots on a bike. I mean, maybe directly behind you, like, you know, directly, directly behind you within three feet. In other words, a wheel sucker, uh, cyclist that is, directly behind you, close up on your back wheel. Other than that, I mean, you don't really have any blind spots on your bike. <clears throat> I do use a, uh, phew, bugs, oh man, bugs are coming back. It's getting warm. What was I talking about? Uh, let's just talk about the topic of the day. Top of the day. The cool down. Whoo, cooling down. It's a lot easier if the end part of your commute is downhill. If like your business that you work at is at the top of a great big hill, well, what are you gonna do? Well, you can do circles in the parking lot. I've done that in the past. You know, uh, even though, you know, my, my business, my, my company, my uh, employer is, uh, you know, not at the top of a hill anywhere. Also not really out at the bottom of a hill, which is actually kind of a good thing because I don't like starting a commute with a big hill anyway. If I go this way, what happens? Uh, 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 I don't know. We'll wait for Pinsky. Pinsky, Pinsky. All right, here we go. Up the hill. Up the hill. So I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually going the wrong way again. But I'm going to, uh, is this a bike lane? I don't know. It's kind of a, kind of a shoulder. It's actually a parking lane, I think. And my gosh, is this lane just covered. And well, in potholes, but also, uh, those little pine cones, little gumball pine cones. I hate those. I should do a video on that. Woo! All right. Up the hill. Yeah, this is not a good place to be riding a bike anyway, though. Close to the shoulder, because that's where all the glass and stuff is. I must say, not to jinx it, let's make it right. Not to jinx it. What is this? What is this? Cobblestone speed bump. Dang it. Woo! <laughs> um, not to jinx it, but I've not gotten a flat tire in a long time. And like I've said in a lot of my previous, oh man, previous videos, you know, it can be avoided usually, as long as you're not riding on the gutter of the road, where all the glass and sharp debris and nails and other tacks and other sharp objects are. So, I can't cut through behind me because it just goes into the high school campus. So we'll go this way. Although actually I can cut down this alleyway if I remember correctly. <laughs> More cobblestone. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I don't know if this is really a cool down, but going down the cobblestone alleyway kind of takes a lot of energy out of you because you're absorbing a lot of impact. It's got to go kind of slow, especially with these skinny tires and a huge blind spot. My gracious. Okay. Let's keep going straight here. Yeah? 
Okay, which way should bike block? Oh man, that's a bunch of glass. Which way should bike block go, left or right? Maybe we try going left? Ugh. Okay, here we go, we're going left. Oh, and then we'll make a right and cross the bridge. I don't know what bridge this is, but uh, we're crossing it now. Uh, I don't know what road I'm on. I, I might be on King's Highway Boulevard. Woo. Boy, this, this bridge needs a bike lane. Why is there no bike lane on this road? I guess this is not a normal uh, a bicycle road that a lot of cyclists use. Seems like a pretty nice road though. It's oh, relatively smooth. Woo. Oh my gosh, it's windy up here. I can see train tracks to my right, but it's uh, whoo. There aren't any trains down there, unfortunately. Oh, I need to cool down. Woo. Actually, it feels pretty cool right now. The wind feels pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, stoplight. Slow it down. Slow it down. McRee. McRee Avenue. Where does that go? I guess we'll try it. I just gotta wait for the uh, traffic, yeah? Alright, let's go down McRee. Because we're not getting on the highway. I have a little phobia about crossing uh, freeway entrance and exit ramps. I avoid it if I can because people are uh, speeding up and down them all the time because it's the highway or the freeway. So, uh, may not be as dangerous as a four way intersection, but it doesn't feel so comfortable. Oh man, dang. Where am I going? I think this might be a dead end. <laughs> Can I make a right left? It says street not through straight ahead, but maybe I can go this way? Maybe I can go this way. Where is that guy going? Let's get over here. I have a bad feeling that this is just a business park back here. Although it looks like there's a, well actually there's a school campus behind me. I didn't even notice that. If I make a right, I can show you. Let's make a right. Nobody coming. I'm totally lost. It's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll get it. We'll, we'll get this figured out. I can have a slightly longer ride today because uh, I'm uh, trying not to procrastinate as much about recording these videos. So uh, it'll give me a little more editing time. It's the last video I just threw. <laughs> I threw together pretty quickly. Although I think it turned out okay. But I mean, it takes me... Uh, takes me some time to edit my videos but if I don't do a uh, speedometer and a mini map and all that other jazz uh, it doesn't take as long you want to make a left how about we make a left I think it's a dead end but let's go take a look let's take a look I think that's the freeway straight ahead because those cars seem to be moving pretty fast Woo, why are we not cooling down let's drink our water it's kind of like a kind of like a uh, Oh, what, what word should I be using? I want to say handicap, but it's kind of a um, kind of a crutch. I don't know. Hey, we can cross this uh, freeway. Look at that. There's actually a pedestrian bridge. You want to cross the pedestrian bridge on a bike? Sure we do. Sure we do. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh. Hopefully there's no pedestrians coming. Up the hill, up the hill. This is a nice bridge. This was recently redone. <laughs> Feels kind of strange climbing it on a bike though. I kind of feel like I'm flying. I'm Superman. Woo! Crossing the bridge. Fortunately, the fencing is tall enough if I fell, it would, uh... man, it's loud. I apologize for that. Blame all these vehicles. 
Oh, it looks like they repaved the uh, freeway somewhat recently too. Woo! Let's cool down. Let's cool it. Cool it. Cool it. Cool down. Woo! All right, watch out. Big blind spot. Big blind spot. Huh. Oh boy. Oh man. I dropped like right into the sewer ditch. Okie dokie, I'm in the hill now. Isn't that interesting? Alright, here we go. Up the hill. Uh, I didn't pay, wasn't paying attention to see what road I was on. So I am south of the freeway. I think it was freeway Interstate 44. What's going on here? It's going left. Left. Okay, we're on Marconi. I always wanted to go down this road because it's a busy road. Now I know why I don't come down this road usually. Watch out for traffic. Uh, this is really busy right now. Why is it so busy? It's Friday, that's why. <laughs> so as you can tell, I'm recording this like a week in advance. Am I following a golf cart? I think I'm following a golf cart. All right, let's make it right. Let's go down this way. The people just keep coming the other way. Woo! It's my lunch break, so I think that's why it's all so busy. It's a Friday, and it's lunch, and it's beautiful weather outside, so everybody is out and about. All right. <laughs> Another New York plate. I don't know what the deal is. There must be a lot of, uh, a lot of people who have relatives from New York, because I see a lot of New York plates around in recent years, it seems like, in St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Uh, uh, I could have gone down the alleyway back there. Oh, I was looking at it. Oh, wait a minute, I can take a real road. Here we go. Let's make a right onto Bishkoff. Bishkoff. There's something going on with my bike. It's kind of rattling a little bit. I don't know what it is. I apologize if it's kind of annoying the viewers because uh, it's kind of annoying me. Oh, bike noises are such a hassle. Ugh. All right. Thank that SUV who parked right by the intersection and everyone having to get around him into the other lane of traffic. Let's go left, actually. Let's follow the SUV. We're still on the hill, climbing the hill on uh what road is this i'll figure it out in a second just hang on yeah we're on mackland i think it's like mackland avenue or something like that passing elizabeth passing elizabeth <laughs> i guess elizabeth uh jogs from one side of mackland to the other Woo. Up the hill. Up the hill, bike blogger. Gonna need to cool down sometime here. Up Mackland. Woo! Yeah, it feels real nice right now. Okay. Made it to the top. Made it to the top of the hill. Oh, let's cool down now. Columbia. Columbia Avenue. Not gonna take that though. Let's keep going straight. Stoplight. <laughs> ah, shucks. Oh, I've done this before. I've skipped the stoplight. Oh, there's a cop car. Probably doesn't want. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, I'm going right. Why am I going toward the cop car? <laughs> Let's go this way. Let's go this way. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's take it out to the uh, street here. Past the, fa that's the fanciest family dollar I've ever seen before. 
That's so fancy. <laughs> that brickwork. Okay, this way. Straight. Straight. What road are we on now? I don't know. I came down here in one of my previous videos with the, I think it was called a, a bike point of view or something like that. This guy's been waiting. Let's wait for him. Make sure that SUV isn't gonna cook, uh, cut me off, okay? All right, straight. Whew. Oh, I know what the rattling noise is. It's my, oh no, I don't have a fender on this bike. It's the noise coming from the back of my bike. Should I stop and take a look? I don't wanna stop, but I should. So let's, uh, this might be Sublet Park. Let's make a left into the park here. Actually, I don't know if this is Southwest and Rebar, so I don't know. This probably isn't South. I don't know, I'm a little turned around. Okay, what the heck's the rattling noise? Let's take a look real quick, real quick. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what it is, and I don't have a, it like requires a special hex wrench. <laughs> it's my camera mount for my rear camera, which I don't even have with me right now, so, oh. Oh, well. Deal with that later. There goes another cop SUV. Okay, that's all right. Sounds like a rattling fender, but if you're wondering what that noise is, let's make a left. Let's cut to the park here. Whoa, that's a big B. Whoa, okay. Thank you, Mr. B, for not stinging me. That kind of rhymed, didn't it? Let's make a right. Let's go up this way. How do you cool down faster? Do you blow air through your mouth like faster, like at a, at a greater intensity? Will that cool you down faster? I don't think so. I don't really think so. Let's make a right. I see a bicycle over there. No one's secured it. <laughs> we can steal a bike. Oh, it was, he left his helmet too. Wow. Bonus. Bonus. Where am I going? Where does this take me? I'm confused. Can I go through that? I'm going to go through that, but can I? I think I'm going. Oh, I did it. Too late. Woo. Okay. Off oh, roading it. Oh, man. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, man, that's bumpy. Okay. Please don't flat tire on me. That would be a bad day. Bad day, reference to a previous video. Let's make a left. Nice and easy. I'm watching cars on all sides. Is this Arsenal? Yes, it's Arsenal. I know where I am, kind of. Let's make a right, a left right, a little right, a little right, a little right. Woo. That's a big truck, big UPS truck. Arsenal is kind of a major road, but it's also a, uh, at least partially a residential road. So it's kind of strange to see a big, a big uh, <laughs> shipping truck like that on this road. Ugh. But there are only so many roads in the city. A lot of small roads in the city because the city was built before cars were really prevalent. It's not an old city by international standards by any means, but it is old in terms of modern day means. Heck, I guess the city of St. Louis and a lot of cities east of the Mississippi are older than uh, lots of parts of Europe though that were bombed out during the World Wars. Maybe, I don't know. Oh my gosh, there's that SUV. His, uh, his tag is police. 232. 232 District 2. Let's go straight. Watching traffic in all directions. I'm gonna get over and let this car pass me by slowing down a little bit. Okay. Where does Sulphur go? Let's make a right. Cause I know where Arsenal goes. Oh, ooh, dang, bad, bad choice. Sulfur's kind of a hill. Gotta climb another hill, but I'm trying to cool down. Oh, I just passed another alleyway. I want to go down the alleyways. I don't know why, cause I just greater chance of getting a flat tire. But all right, let's get over another car up the hill, but not all the way in the gutter. Oh, dang, the light's green. There's nobody behind me. So. Oh, wait a minute, I can make a left. Can I bypass that stoplight? Where does this go? What road is this? Is this Southwest or one of the other bigger streets? There's no sign. 
Oh my gosh, the blind spot is ridiculous too to the right. I have to come out into the street to see. Is this Watson? This might be Watson. Ugh. Am I anywhere near work? I don't know. Odell, let's go Odell. Odell Street. Cool down. Let's cool it. Let's cool down. So what is cooling down? I mean, I mean, if you normally go upwards of 20 miles per hour or whatever on the flat, well, a cool down is probably closer to 15 to 10. I mean, if, if you can coast and you don't have a fixed gear bike, you can just coast. Of course, you can coast on a fixed gear bike. You just gotta, <laughs> you gotta take your feet off of the pedals, which is kind of dangerous, especially if you don't have a front brake or a, a hand, hand brake, I should say, of any sort. Downhill. Oh man, I feel like we're going down uh, Macklin now because we climbed this, climbed a ways. Now we're going down a little. It's very gradual though, this, this hill is. Whee! Cooling down, feeling it, feeling it. Nice and cool. <laughs> it's a very rattly bike because of that mount is loose. In the Whoa, okay, that's kind of a, a dip in the road there. That was strange. Up the hill, up the hill. No stop sign, no stop sign. Up the hill. Whoa, wait a minute. What am I doing? I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Is this a one-way road? Let's turn it around. No? What the heck? Am I brake rubbing? No. It's a rally bike. What the heck is going on here? It doesn't say it's one way. Look at this. Let me spin it around. Am I missing something? I don't see a, a no enter. Is that guy? I think that guy on the right is just parked the wrong direction on the road. <laughs> I just saw that as a cue. Like, oh man, am I going down a one way road? I'm going the wrong direction. No salmon. No salmon cycling upstream. I'm going to go downstream. It's easier that way. It's cooling down. Yeah, okay, this is a two way road. It's just a guy was parked the wrong direction. I cut down a big tree back there. Um, man, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm going the correct direction toward work. You know, I'm going. I think I'm going west, east. I think I'm going east. Ugh. Uh, no, west. I'm going west. I think I'm going west because I need to go west. Yeah, that's right. Because I'm in the city, and I need to go back into the county, which is west, away from the Mississippi River. Okay. Oh, there's some busy traffic straight ahead. That looks like another freeway. Man. Bike bloggers kind of large. This is going to be a longer video. Longer video. This is how it goes. Man, which way do I go? <laughs> That's the way onto the freeway, I think, down there. Let's go this way, question mark. If, mem if memory serves me correctly, the freeway to my left is 44. And if I was coming on the freeway toward work, I'd be going this way, I think. So I just kind of follow the freeway, I guess, until I get to work here. Freeway to the left there. Um, passing Marmaduke. Passing Marmaduke. Have I come down this way before? I kind of recognize this, like during the winter or something. I don't know. Oh, that's a nice big, that's a nice big hill back there for the alleyway. I'm tempted to go up that. Oh, I'm gonna go up a hill anyway. <laughs> Gotta go up this hill now. Oh man, that mount in the, on the back of my bike's getting more loose. I think if it gets loose enough here, I could, oh boy, here comes a car. I think if it gets loose enough, I could uh, remove it by hand. With all these bumps in the road, I'm probably gonna do that. Whew, I didn't like the sound of that. Up. <laughs> Dang, it sounds like I have a, a bike rack with something rattly on the back of my bike right now. Up. Oh, we're supposed to be cooling down. Why aren't we cooling down? Whew. All right. Well, I made it to the top of the hill. I guess I'll stop again here in a second and uh, see. Let's make a left. I think I feel like I need to go left. It says do not enter the right anyways. <laughs> That made the decision for me. 
going down Bennett. So there's no outlet straight ahead, so probably need to make a left or a right. Let's make a left. All right. Okay, actually, this is uh, this is southwest. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is stop because I'm almost at work. But let's see if I can remove. Oh, look, there's a kitty cat in the window. Oh, there's a cat in the window. Look at the cat while I see if I can remove this thing. Oh, this freaking thing. I can't remove it. <laughs> it's not loose enough. All right, well, anyway, thanks for following along. Oh, bumpy road. On my bike ride to work today, lunch break. Cooling down, going down the hill. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Stay cool. Drink some water. Hold on to the handlebars. Hold on to the handlebars. Woo! Ah, oh, summer's on the way.